This is what you need to avoid when you're applying to college. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joy. For those of you guys who are new, I am a current rising junior at Vanderbilt University. Today, I'm gonna to be going over what not to do when you're applying to college. These are all super common mistakes that avoiding will not only save you a bunch of stress and energy, but will also increase your chances of getting into your dream school. So if you guys want tips and tricks on how to apply to college, as well as to know what to avoid during your college application process, definitely keep on watching. And a lot of these these things come from personal experience, the experience of my friends, so definitely learn from our mistakes. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when applying to college is starting late. Once the summer before your senior year rolls around, it can be super easy to fall into the trap of procrastinating and pushing off writing essays, doing research, filling out your Common App or Coalition App, all that kind of jazz, if you do not treat your time with enough urgency. I personally fell into this trap. I definitely did not allocate my time properly during my summer before my senior year, and having to do the majority of my college apps during my senior year was hell. Don't do that. So what should you do instead? Plan ahead. Here's a list of all the things that should ideally be done by the time your senior year starts. Another one of the biggest mistakes that people make during the college application process is slacking off on research. Honestly, doing good research can make or break an application. Find out the quirks of each college. Look at the college's majors and minors, look at the undergraduate teaching program strength and not just the graduate school strengths, which is what usually pops up when you look at a university's rankings in different subjects and fields. You wanna know the school's strengths and weaknesses, the campus culture, campus demographic and location, the feedback of the current students, the kinds of students that they're trying to attract, and make sure that every college that you apply to aligns with what you want out of your college experience and seems like an environment that you could both thrive in and contribute to. In addition, don't just research colleges, also research majors. Don't apply to a major just because it sounds cool. Make sure to pick majors based off of what you want out of your life and that align the best with your application. And ideally, by the end of all of your research, you will have found colleges and majors that align best with your strengths and what you want out of your life. Doing good research on what a school has to offer, what they're looking for in a student, and how you can best fit in and contribute to the school's community can help you decide how to fill out your application and also your essays to showcase to the admissions officer that you are the best fit for their school. Another mistake that people make is wasting time applying to colleges that they don't actually want to attend. As you're applying to colleges, just remember that college can be pretty intense and a college's name is not going to make you happy if you are on campus and you hate the environment, don't feel like you connect well with the student body, or are really frustrated with program limitations on top of all the normal college stressors. Now let's move into things that you should avoid doing while you are writing your college admissions essays. Do not wait around for the perfect essay topic. Unless you're under extreme duress, it's pretty unlikely for the perfect essay topic to just fall out of the sky, especially with an essay as broad as your common app essay. Start brainstorming, writing drafts, and trying ideas out. While you're writing your essays, do not expect immediate perfection. When you do, it becomes so easy to get writer's block or to really get discouraged and put off writing your essays because they just don't seem to be coming out perfect enough. All of the good essays that you have read or seen on the internet have, for the most part, been edited over and over and over again by multiple people. And as a result, it's pretty unproductive to expect your first drafts to be at the level of those essays. So for me, once I stopped expecting perfection and just started trying ideas and writing everything I wanted to onto the page, leaving it alone and coming back later to edit, writing just became so much easier. Another mistake that is pretty easy to make is sacrificing authenticity in pursuit of a special out-of-the-box essay. During the college application process, there is a whole bunch of pressure to write an essay that has never been done before and is out-of-the-box and super quirky and unique in order to impress admissions officers. And while you shouldn't not make a special and different essay, it can be really easy to kind of fall into a trap of chasing this quirky, never-been-done-before essay and get caught up on trying to be different rather than telling your own story using your own narrative voice to get your admissions officer to connect with you as a person. I think a good way to avoid this is instead of focusing on making a quirky and different essay, focus on your own experiences, your own narrative voice, and your own perspective. And combining those to make an authentic essay usually also tends to create a very unique and different and touching essay. So make sure that you aren't sacrificing any of your own authenticity or your story in pursuit of making your essay different. I also have videos on my channel with Common App and Supplemental App essay writing 
sharing tips and advice, where I touch on brainstorming, getting topic inspiration, drafting, writing, and editing, and go deeper into what to avoid. I also share my Common app and some of my supplemental and scholarship essays in them if you'd like to go check those out later. During your college application experience, you may or may not find yourself writing supplemental essays the day before or the day of the deadline. And I will just say that if you're in that position, do not freak out. As long as your Common App essay is complete and your Common App is filled out, sometimes you can surprise yourself with the quality of the supplemental essays that you're able to bust out in a handful of hours. Another mistake that a lot of people make is losing track of due dates. Different colleges have different due dates based on if you're applying ED1, ED2, EA, RD, or to scholarships. And oftentimes the scholarship due dates will not be the due dates of your actual Common App. For example, for Vanderbilt, you need to submit your Common App, I believe like a week early in order to get access to the scholarship portal where you send in your scholarship application on the scholarship application due date. So definitely make sure to do good and thorough research, especially if you're trying to apply to specific programs or scholarships. Also, do not forget to turn in all of your financial documents to all of your colleges on time. Each college has its own financial aid requirements. Um, pretty typically, they will require a FAFSA, a CSS profile, and to upload specific documents to IDOC. But each college has its own different things. For instance, Princeton has its own financial aid portal. So definitely keep track of all of those due dates. Usually they come in after you've submitted all of your college applications. So keeping track of due dates does not end once you submit all of your college applications. Another mistake that some people make, and I personally made myself, is being afraid to ask for help whether that be asking someone to review your entire application, essay topics, or to brainstorm with and bounce ideas off of. Also, don't be afraid to reach out to some of your friends who may already be in college and to get their help and their advice and things like that. It's always good to get that outside opinion and get an idea of how outside people perceive your application. And lastly, keep off of our applying to college if you are on it for the wrong reasons. If you're on it for resources, it's honestly pretty great, but if you find yourself falling into that deep dark rabbit hole of comparing yourself and your stats and your high school experience to all these people on the internet and then being like, oh my god, I'm a failure, I will not get into any college, then definitely keep off. Honestly, comparing yourself and worrying is a huge waste of time. Nobody actually knows what's going to happen with your application, and so it's really not worth it to waste your energy worrying. And with all of that said, this is everything that I know on what not to do when applying to college in order to make the process go as smoothly and as best as physically possible. If there's any that I have left out or forgotten, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck to everyone applying to college and I will see you guys next time. Bye!